All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how to widen out your arm of granite, and I guarantee it's not going to roll over anymore. Um, I've also included a link to Philly B. RC's website where he shows in detail how it's done. I just kind of go over it real quickly. I'm just going to take the car out and give it a good little run right now. I'm not saying you you can't roll it over, but that was the only rollover I got. Oh. Alright guys, I got my Armor Granite and my Traxxas Bigfoot side by side. Just thought I'd show you before I started the video. Yeah, came out pretty cool. Alright, let's get you going. <clears throat> Basically, all I'm doing is throwing arms on the thing. Okay, this video is all about how to widen your Armor Granite. On the, on the Typhon, I'd have an extra set of arms, but... Um, Anyways, when I, last time I was at the hobby store, I went ahead and got some RPM arms. So there's a little price difference, $12.95 as opposed to $8.99. Um, maybe they're better, maybe the RPMs are a little better, I don't know. I've not broken any arms on either my Typhon or my Granite. I broke a lot of other things, but never broke any arms. So anyways, um, first thing you need to do, take off your tires, of course. This will be for the front. Take out the long screw in the front here whoa take out the long screw in the front and the little short screw in the back and then there'll be two two screws inside of here that you can get to with an allen wrench by just diving through diving through and, and getting to them that way um, then that whole front bumper will come off the skid plate bumper will come off and then you'll probably want to remove um, your links and your shocks tires links, shocks everything basically comes off then um, you'll be able to uh, extract your pins by pulling them out with a pair of pliers. You know, this whole front end is off and, and this little plate comes off. I'm really terrible with names, but anyways. Um, yeah, so then you just pull your two pins out, pop your, new, pop your new arms in, slide your pins back in. The front is a little bit tricky on this because on the RPMs, they're different than the, the standard Typhon ones. And I don't know if you can see this very well. I'll see if it'll come into focus for you. So there it is. And you can see where that screw goes in to hold the pin in place. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's different than what is on the stock arm. The stock arm, the little retaining screw sets next to the pin and holds it in that way. This is kind of deceiving because they're showing like a little hole in the line going over the hole. There is no hole there. You just slide your pin in and put the uh, screw straight in front of it. You got to push the pin in a little bit further than 
then flush, you know, and then the screw will just drive it all the way in. Yeah. And they, they work good, you know, they're just different than the Arma ones. RPM. Hopefully they'll hold up better. But basically that's it in a nutshell for the front. The rear is even simpler. The rear, pull your shocks, pull these two rods off, pull those two rods off, pull your shocks off, and pop the wheelie bar off and pull the pins out, same, same procedure as in the front. It's super simple, super, super simple. So, so with that being said, I didn't buy the Typhon Lynx, which I probably will later, but you know, budget, budget. So something I noticed on the drive shafts, on, on my Typhon, I, I changed out all the drive shafts on my Typhon, so I went to a different, you know, like aluminum drive shafts. But these, on this car here, as it sits right now, where that mark is, that's how, that's how far this line goes in on this. That, that's the furthest it'll travel out. It'll, it'll go in further as the shocks come up. It'll come in a little bit further, but you know, it's a good three quarters of an inch grabbing that. So I guess it'll work. I was gonna, I, I, I would think that the drive shafts for the Typhon and the Granite were different, but they're not, they're exactly the same. The only difference would be, you know, the hex is different. 17 millimeter on the uh, Typhon and on, not on the granite. On, now on the granite, I just um, put some um, hex adapters, you know, to go up to 17 millimeter. I could actually use these drive shafts and just go straight to 17 millimeter, but these have been holding up really good. They're hot racing and they're, they're good quality. I've not had any problems with them. Um, as for, for rods and links and stuff like that, Got a lot of stuff here, man. I just, whoa, I just hang on to everything as much as I can because I know I'll reuse it at some point. Moving on. So these links here are from Traxxas and they're, if I got them right here. I don't even know what they're for. Who knows, but they work. It's for the Slash, the Rustler and all them extra strength. Yeah, I don't think they're anywhere near as good as what comes on the Granite or the Typhon, but they, they're the right length and they work perfect for up front. In the back, I, I just used some aftermarket links that I had like these, you know, and there's just all different types. Now, the, my Typhon links would work. I, I need to buy a whole new set of them, I think, because I really like them. I like the beefy rod ends on there, you know, as opposed to like, I don't know the Traxxas, wherever it is. So these are Traxxas rod ends. They're just so much smaller. Let's see if I can get two of them right next to each other. They're just they're just not as beefy. Now maybe on the bigger Traxxas cars they are more beefy, but just not on the slash in them. I'm gonna beat the heck out of it. I don't think I'll break the car, but I'll probably break the body. It looks kind of nice widened, and and it was super cheap to do, 20 bucks, and you can widen your car i mean other than the links and a lot of you guys that have been around a while probably have tons of extra links and you can even use some um, you know all thread and just even though even though you won't be able to adjust them you can make your own links to to an exact length i mean you can adjust them but you just have to release one screw on one of the rod ends and just turn it in you know but yeah i think i did that on this one here um made my own rod i think i've made a few of my own rods and then on this, I just I just put some uh, some tubing in between, kind of give it a little extra strength. But it made like a solid rod, kind of you know. It came out good. I mean, it works fine. That's about it. Tree trimmers are here, trimming trees. So yeah, it came out really cool. And with the uh, hot racing, wherever I can find them. Yeah, are they hot racing or pro line? I always get mixed up on those. Anyways, that's it, man.